you always want to be able to draw a 360 degree box around yourself. So you want a, a person who's been your boss, a person who's been your peer, and a person who's been your subordinate. Um, that ensures they get the full perspective on what you're like managing up, managing across, and managing down. So it's it's really critical that you do that. I personally don't put any weight at all in personal references. I hear the same thing from everyone he talks to. He, you know, he, they're a nice person. I'd like I enjoy going to dinner with them. I'm not interested in that. I do put a lot of value in what I get from that boss, peer, superior, um, subordinate, and people who are good at checking references will get even your biggest advocate they'll be able to get to, to give some, some relevant, constructive criticism of you. So um, that's important. The, the challenge of, of maintaining your confidentiality can be really difficult for people who've been in the same company for a long period of time. So they can't give you anybody in the current company They don't want to violate their confidentiality, but they've been there for 10 years. That's a problem. Uh, what that person's going to end up doing is having to find people who left the firm ahead of them that they can then provide as a reference. In general, you don't see much reference checking until um, somebody's either being invited back to a second interview, or uh, maybe not second necessarily, but a final interview. So it's very rare um, that anybody will ever check a reference off of a resume. So you know, you'll see some candidates will put references on their resume. Almost never are they going to be checked until they've met you and feel good about you.